thank you thank you organizers for letting me having this opportunity can you listen me please am i audible yes sir okay so thank you all the organizers specifically psg and rotul for inviting me to just talk on very important topic use of insulin pump in gestational diabetes it has been many years of invention of insulin pump and still the utility of insulin pump is still to be understood at its peaks and uh, i think so all the credit goes to my respected seniors who have made me like this that we, we are using technology at the fullest so insulin pump in gestational diabetes next please next slide as we all know the tips for successful patient and physician experience is the basic thing which we need the call of the day next please the good physician treats the disease and the great physician treats the patient who has the disease these are some important lines which we should keep in our mind next please now this was the first insulin pumps which was uh, 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 experienced by a person who was just holding the pump over the back and then it became very sleek small and uh, might be um, uh, um, people may do ramp walk with this insulin pump in their coming future projecting that they are more powerful than people are taking mtis because it mimics the natural uh, insulin secretion of our body next please and as we talk on the history of uh, uh, insulin initiation till invention of glucometers then insulin pump and we have gadgets we have sensors we have insulin pumps of latest devices it has been an era of approximately 100 years of passed from discovery of insulin till the latest 780g model which is available in our country which is also known as closed loop hybrid insulin pump or artificial pancreas so what the use we can give during pregnancy with gdm this is the base of insulin pump which i had spoken about next please now the introduction next please next slide please no the previous one the previous one more previous yeah so the introduction to insulin pump therapy in gdm specifically the control of blood glucose during pregnancy is difficult because with variations and in hormonal conditions ongoing hormonal changes and mood swings this is specifically needing multiple injections a day and pain at injection site is the most biggest problem then regular monitoring is very much required and skillful handling of syringes and pens is so difficult that is why this comes to an end with insulin pump therapy this further makes insulin therapy insulin insulin therapy more convenient when we give the insulin pump at least next please yeah so specifically the physiological need of insulin is matched by insulin pump therapy this is very nicely beautifully you can see through, through this slide the red dots are the vessel of insulin secretion the blue dots specifically are the pulses which can be given as when required when there are breakfast lunch any type of snacks or some type of um, middle meal or you can say you have brunches or any any snacks can be carbohydrate value can be calculated and a specific peak can also be managed by insulin pump therapy this has been known to all of us next please now with understanding this what do you say to insulin pump therapy in gdm as is more physiological so you say yes or no so it, it is a big yes on my part because i have been using it many people who agree to take the technology the technology has first to be informed then there will be a mutual consent and then only the adherence of the technology can be there so it takes one or two sessions to understand the technology but in gdm if you present in front of them the rental pumps or you can say the pumps which are acquired by the physicians themselves there you can give them these pumps for 6 to 8 months wherever it is required 
so definitely if physiological insulin replacement is on a part so mdi and compares to insulin pump therapy the guidelines uh, also are the same uh, dr saurabh mishra would you please yeah. uh, turn off your video as your uh, voice is cracking okay uh, great thank you thank you okay okay so so i think so now it's clear yeah so it is very very nice yes or a yes to insulin pump therapy in gdm next please next slide but then also these guidelines gives us power to prescribe but we are the judge whom to prescribe how much to prescribe or not to prescribe so what are the advantages with this insulin pump therapy in gdm specifically so multiple guidelines have recommended the use of insulin pump in pregnancy to maintain the glycemic control the pump can release small doses of insulin continuous basal or bolus dose close to a meal to control the spike in blood glucose after a meal and the newer devices can do insulin delivery also before occurrence of hypoglycemia there are two types of pumps available in our country one is the conventional insulin pump which is sensor less and one is sensor augmented insulin pump where now we talk about 780 that medtronic Um, has produced it so that is also very nice but specifically for gdm if that is not available with the facility then the normal pump also gives a good value by smbg regular monitoring regular monitoring of smbg is the primary call for any insulin therapy so might it be it is insulin pump or might it be it is your pens might it be it is syringes but smbg smbg is the most important thing which has to be done in regular so six readings per day have to be mandatorily recorded for a person who is who is uh, taking this uh, technology and for gdm in pregnancy it is very important to record the values now pump insulin of choice is specific rapid insulin rapid insulin is taken in insulin pump therapy rather than any other insulin next please so now what are the most important things which we should look so we should as in gdm look into insulin dose adjustment then basal rate of testing then bolus type of guidance in in, in gdm correction formulas have to be understood and have to be propagated with nicely car factor calculation can be done easily by smart pumps now is available which we can correct during gdm and avoid over correction of hypers and hypos specifically pump and exercise has to be in cannula site exam in part Next, please. I think so. The slide is not moving. Can you move the slide further? Next slide. I am always speaking on certain technology doesn't give when there is no good network. So networks has also been to be handled very nicely. Now, what physicians should look into insulin pump of using the insulin pump therapy in GDA? Most important these three things: basal review, bolus history, and priming history has to be recorded. Next, please. now these are five important things which a person should always keep in our mind while we are using insulin pump therapy for gdm every meal to bolus has to be calculated and has to be delivered two right type of bolus types have to be given that bolus wizards are available on insulin pump then accordingly you are taking rapid carbohydrate dissociate right and you can adjust your carbohydrate values keep three hours or more gap between the bolus avoid frequent correction and thus is thing and did less than 15 to 20 grams of glucose this is a simple same regime which we use for other conventional insulin people where we have to use in this insulin pump therapy part and full is specified for gdm but more precautionately in where we are not using sensors we have to check sugar six times a day that is smbg has to be done and accordingly our calculation has to be told to our person next please
some important tips for patients which we should tell for person who is having ddm and she is using insulin pump therapy we have to tell them to change cannula every 72 hours and reservoir should not be used the limited use of reservoir has to be made rotate the cannula insertion side that as we are doing for insulin pens also the same we have to teach for this cannula also self monitoring of plasma glucose has to be done for correction before meals then each meal except exercise carb to be covered with insulin specifically and never suspend pump more than 1 hour but for gdm what i will say if suspension is needed you have to be very much precautionate so i think so suspension of insulin pump in gdm is not permitted next please now how to initiate and specifically how to calculate the daily basal and bolus rate so whatever amount of insulin is being decided to be delivered so we take it by the formula of 0.4 into body weight then amount of insulin which is required out of which we have to set the basal rate up amongst the 40 to 50% suppose the total dose calculated for a ddm we start with insulin 30 units and we have to give approximately 50% as the basal rate and rest the rest of the 50 to 60% has to be divided into 3 that we will start with from the pluses before breakfast before lunch and before dinner so daily basal dose and bolus dose has to be calculated depending upon the total amount of insulin which we desire for a person which is having a weight related association as we start with mdi next please next slide please why i am talking about insulin pump therapy because the basal rate varies all throughout the day in gdm the requirement for basic variations can be only met very nicely by insulin pump therapy so these guidelines gives us power to prescribe but it is right choice of ours to prescribe or not prescribe if a person is very much understanding insulin pump therapy only then this will be available for a person to use it so it has to be very much understood that this can be to people who are having next slide please this will be the last slide i think next slide please so the take home message from insulin pump and gdm point of view i had to specifically discuss about a case so there are several cases which i can discuss on platform i have recently used insulin pump therapy in a person who she was having gdm but how to use this technology because they cannot buy the pump for nine months this is a very expensive technology and the pharmacoeconomics offer for for type 1 and type 2 it is another thing they are already using insulin pump therapy so that can be prescribed but for people who are coming to gdm so we have to have our pumps in our own clinic to offer this facility so this facility can be offered by people who are having a proper team for insulin pump therapy and they have their own pumps in their clinic so in last i will like to say insulin pump is gaining popularity in pregnancy because it mimics the insulin delivery of the healthy human pancreas physiologically with this i would like to end my session thank you last slide